U.S. Army soldiers conducted bilateral field training with members of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force during Orient Shield 23. They're utilizing a tank. Uh, we have infantry soldiers and we have uh, mortars and artillery uh, shells hitting the thing at the same time. And we're all trying to sync that together in some sort of flow towards the enemy while being covered by all that, that fire. Because so you never maneuver without some sort of fire on the enemy so their heads are down. That's really, what, that's really the goal of this training is uh, synchronization. Our command is in charge of peace in the Pacific area, and so we do pathways uh, deployments to meet with our brothers and sisters across the sea just to uh, train together and try to understand uh, each other in some way because the reality is that someday we might have to fight together. If we have to do it for real, uh, it's best we don't do it for real the first time. Reporting from Orient Shield, I'm Petty Officer Mike Flesh. I would like to first thank General Morishida and his team for welcoming us here at Exercise Orient Shield 23. The alliance between Japan and the United States has never been stronger, and I am personally very thankful for the increased cooperation and the long-lasting friendships amongst the JGSDF and U.S. Army of the Pacific. General Morishida has stated that Japan must strengthen its defense posture, and I want to express my support and that of the U.S. Army of the Pacific to assist his efforts in doing so. Exercises like Orient Shield 23 are essential for demonstrating the United States' ironclad commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. These exercises and this training and these rehearsals are critical to strengthening our alliance. 